I've always said Wade didn't wade fish and Wade didn't ice fish much. But Wade does wade fish and Wade's getting ready to go ice fishing now. So this is a pretty epic adventure for me in all honesty. I'm up in Minnesota with my good friend Steve Panaz. We're getting ready to knock this snow off of our boots, take the Viking out, go out drill a few holes. But the main thing that's got me the most excited about this is an opportunity to play more with Garmin's Pan Optic. You know, I first fell in love with Panoptic when it came out and I had a demo model and I'm fishing up on a boat ramp and I make a cast and I see everything happening live. And I didn't know anything about ice fishing at that time, but I thought people looking through the hole in those ice, this is gonna be a, a revolutionary game changer for those just like it is everybody else. But I haven't had a chance to get up and actually experience it. So we're getting ready to go out on this body of water. I understand we're gonna be targeting crappie and perch, maybe even catch a pike or two, I don't know, cause I don't know really a whole lot about ice fishing. But what I do know is I'm gonna get out and have a brand new experience while also learning a little bit more about all this live action fishing you can do with Panoptic. We're in one of the most popular fishing areas in the state of Minnesota. There's, there's literally hundreds and hundreds of lakes within easy driving distance where we are. We're on about a 250, maybe 270 acre lake that's sort of a bog stained. It's not a real deep lake. It's sort of a classic older eutrophic lake where it, it goes uh, gradually into a main lake basin, softer bottoms, darker water. But these are the waters that are great panfish, bass, and, and big pike waters. And today we're looking for bluegills and panfish. And really what I want to do today is introduce Wade Middleton to ice fishing and see if we can get him on some fish. How you doing warmth wise? I'm good. Yeah. I'm good. I'm real good. So the other thing on, on this is uh, you tie an improved clinch knot mm -hmm. so that so you want to keep the jig horizontal. So you want to bend that that the knot back toward the side. See how okay. the line sits yeah. there? Yeah. And so everything keep, just yep. basically sits sits horizontal. like the horizontal. Yep. You don't want anything to be vertical in this deal. There's a lot of fish down there. Those are bigger looking fish too. All right, shut that, close your jig down now and put your finger on there. There you go. Here he comes. Here he comes. Now, see how it's all become one? Yeah. Now just sort of slowly lift. And what'll happen, a lot of times on that lift, it'll generate that a strike or you'll feel, you'll or you'll, feel them or they, get the they'll come up and they'll them. grab it and not move. A lot of times, you know, these fish are not that active. The water, there you go. There you go. Oh, there you go. One. First one. <laughs> Pull this out. Sunfish. <laughs> First one through the ice. How cool is that? <laughs> Good size fish too. That's so cool. Look at that. That's so cool. You know, I look back as, as the, there's a lot of firsts in life. You know, I look back to the first bluegill I ever caught through a bobber out, a little red and white bobber on a rock. And the bobber went down eating a night crawler and I reeled it in. I was a little kid and I ran home to my mom and dad. And, wow, check this out. And, you know, it and really, here I am, you know, 50 years later, and I'm like, wow, check this out. That was my first fish and an ice deal. They're about the same size, ironically enough. And, you know, I drop it down there and everybody's kind of excited about it and I'm setting the hook. And, you know, it's a, this is a social event. And that's what's really cool about this ice fishing. And a lot of times fishing up in this part of the world, it's very social. You know, these guys get out and create these little, uh, these little towns, little communities, they're grilling, they're hanging out, and just really having a great time as they catch all kinds of fish. Well, he's a little bitty guy. <laughs> Take him out. A little, a little, perch. little perch. Well, that's so cool. Catch all the different species while you're out here. That's so fun. I mean, when you drop down there and you can see the target separation between the, the bait, and the fish and whatever's catching will let you get back in there real quick before it gets too cold on you. I mean, it's so neat. I mean, when you sit over here and you look at the screen, you actually can see that fish just swim all the way back down to the bottom right there. I mean, going all the way down that fast. And it would literally, after I let him go, you can watch your bait go down, you can see them react, come up off the bottom, you can watch everything go down. And then you still have the sensitivity of obviously the bite when you're holding your rod in your hand. I mean, this is, you know, it's just, there's no words that truly put what you get to see in this live type of a fishing situation. Coming up after the break, we take a closer look at the Panoptics Ice Fishing Bundle 
and how it is revolutionizing the industry. As people who love the outdoors, we know what we stand for. We stand for fish, wildlife, and conserving the places they call home. We stand for the traditions we inherited and that we must pass on. We stand for great gear, fair prices, expert service, and memorable experiences. At Bass Pro Shops in Cabela's, we stand together for you. Groundbreaking designs, unsurpassed quality, and unshakable confidence. Welcome to the Ranger Z500 and Z100 series. Leading the industry for over 50 years, these rigs are custom crafted and loaded with more features and advantages to deliver the ultimate ownership experience. The legendary Ranger Z series, unleash next level performance. Yamaha Outboards, reliability starts here. The Fisherman's Handbook is brought to you in part by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. Garmin, fight your fish, not your fish finder. And by Yamaha Marine, reliability starts here. So we've got Wade Middleton up here today doing some ice fishing and you know, he's from the south, but he's definitely hanging in there and, um, you know, luckily we got some nice weather for him. So he's out here. I seen him catch his first fish through the ice a little bit ago and, you know, I, I think he's having a blast with it. You know, another big key to this trip was, was Danny Thompson. Danny is actually a guy I met years ago working at Cabela's and now he works with Garmin as the sales rep in this area and he is an avid, avid outdoorsman up here. So we're up in northern Minnesota and we're out here looking for some crappies with these panoptics kits and you know last year we kind of first discovered these panoptics kits and I was absolutely blown away you know I've, I used panoptics on the water and the boat and being from Minnesota I knew that this would be something that we just had to use ice fishing. For close to three decades now ice slingers have been relying on electronics on ice traditionally flashers with narrow beam transducers that allow to see small lures and the fish at the same time. But really, ice fishing electronics have gone through a massive transformation in just the last few years. You're starting to see a lot more GPS mapping packages on the ice that allow you to get on the, on the spots a little bit faster. And Garmin really broke through this year with the new ice bundle that allows you to use panoptics, both live view down and live view forward, in, in ways that other anglers and other fishermen simply haven't had or been able to do in, 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 ever in, in the history of ice fishing. Oh, I come he's up coming after in from the right. Yeah, you got, is he down there? No, he never did. Oh, ah, no, ah. I think he did get me. <laughs> I think he ate my worm. He, he's coming this way now. <laughs> got, got him, got him. <laughs> oh yeah, oh, it's a perch. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> but look at him down there now on the bottom. <laughs> That's too cool. <laughs> he left mine. I took it away from him, he came over to yours. <laughs> this year we came out with the Pan Optics Ice Bundle and, and what the bundle's got is it's got our Echomap 73 CV unit in it and that's one of our best summer units that we are now using for the ice season and what's great about it is you've got all the maps for the whole United States and the border waters and all the lakes we like to ice fish already preloaded into it. And then of course we've paired it with a brand new GT10 ice fishing transducer this year. It's a 500 watt ice fishing transducer with great target separation, really been able to dial in on those crappies. But of course the part we love to talk about and is fun to use is the pan optics. And now, you know, with the live view down mode, you've got a 100 degree cone angle. You can see fish, you know, depending on the depth of water, out 10, 15 feet away from your hole and see the fish coming in and reacting versus just seeing that line on a flasher. So the pan optics live view down is awesome. You can see it and look and see the fish coming up to it right there. You're gonna kind of become one. He just turned and went away. He didn't like it. So I'm gonna drop it right back down on him and just kind of shake it a little bit. There comes one up at it right there. Little bitty guy and I shook it and he swam off to the side there. Look at there's a bunch of them underneath. Don't see the ground swell up. There's one right there. That's him. You can see the fish coming right up. It's gonna be a small 
small perch right there. But that just shows you how great a separation and what we've got going on here. I mean, that's a small fish that you actually saw. Can you imagine when you start seeing big fish like the crappie or walleye or bass when you're drop shot and how they're well they're going to show up? And that just tells you how good these units are at picking up target separation and targets at that at that depth. Yeah, I've been ice fishing my entire life, and I've I've been there when we were using hockey sticks and broken rod tips to make ice rods. And I remember the first time using electronics through the ice to, to actually see your bait, to see the fish. But I really wasn't prepared to see what Panops could do as, uh, with live view forward and, and even live view down. What it does is two things. One, it helps you cover a lot more water a lot faster. And number two, the live view down allows you to cover a lot more water than typical. Panoptics has really revolutionized ice fishing. It's time now for a break, but when we come back, the crappie move in and the action picks up right here on the Fisherman's Handbook. An entirely new species of extreme predator is moving offshore. The Yamaha 5.6 liter V8 XTO offshore outboard. Extreme big block thrust and power in the industry's first direct injection four stroke. Quiet, efficient, powerful, and proven Yamaha reliability. More than an outboard, it's a fully integrated power system. The all new Yamaha V8 XTO Offshore. You sons of fishes. Ain't enough fish on this lake for two clubs. Really? Well, we see plenty of fish live with pan optics. Yep. Dang, we should get pan optics. Or maybe we'll just take yours. What's going on here? You boys have license? Yes, yes sir. sir. Nope. <laughs> Oh, I got it. The Fisherman's Handbook is brought to you in part by Sunline America, the strength to guarantee your confidence. Ranger Boats, still building legends one at a time. Ill, dress like a pro. And by Engel, the original high performance cooler. You know, anytime I get on an adventure the first time, I just want to have the entire experience. I'm, I don't really care about the size of anything out here. So, you know, Steve and Danny were kind of laughing at me because I was as excited to catch these three inch perch as I was to go out and catch a five pound bass because I was learning and evolving. I was learning more about the whole ice fishing experience. And to me, that was a big part of this trip, the, just the entire experience out of there. But watching what happened when Steve found those crappie and how they fired on that, when he got in that right hole, that was pretty amazing. Woo! He came through. That's not a real good fish, but I'm gonna keep him out here just for some moral support. These fish are roaming every year. I got another school down here. I got a bunch underneath me right now. Okay, he's coming screaming over to my lure. Watch, here he comes. Got him. All right, now you got some crappie going. There we go. Smaller fish, but they, these fish are starting to get active. You know, it's funny, I just, uh, took the pan optics live view forward and scanned and I saw a spot of crappies 50 feet this way from that hole right where my auger is. So I ran over here and I, I drilled a bunch of holes in the area. Come over here, drop the uh, live view down of the pan, you know, pan optics and it was just black with fish. And I'm trying to get the jig through the slush and it gets down there and the first fish goes, goes boop and smokes it. Caught a nice crappie, threw it on the ice, dropped the jig back down and another one comes screaming up and grabbed it good fish and, and then the school left. So our challenge right now is these fish are starting to get active. We just caught three crappies in the last 10 minutes. Uh, the key is trying to stay on top of them. So we're gonna have to go back to live view down or live view forward, scan for these fish, cut some holes around them, get on top of them and just get ready to move. That's, these fish are moving a lot faster than normal. They're really screaming across here, but this is making it easier to find them than the other way. You know, Steve, he was a madman out there. He, 
he'd get the live going and he'd see something over there and he'd run and he'd, he'd drill a bunch of holes and then off he'd go to the next one. I mean, it was a, as a frenzied pace as what I would see fishing with Clark Winland in a bass fishing tournament where, you know, he's going, throwing a spinnerbait 900 miles an hour. It was, Steve was drilling that many holes. Here he comes, he's gonna eat, watch. See that? There. Now you'll know. Ooh. Ooh. Can you grab that out of the hole? Bring it right out. Yeah! Drop it, <laughs> How about them apples? Look at that! Nice! <laughs> Snag them on the corner of the mouth. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> When you look back on experiences and you have to rate them, you know, all of them are exciting to me. I, I've said many times, and I get asked this question, what do you what do you like the most? I like everything about the outdoors. This ice fishing trip, I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna rank it right up here at a 10. We got out here in a safe situation. We caught a lot of fish. Uh, I got to see a product that I just love to fish with all the time anyway, in action in another environment and learn more tricks about it. I mean, I, I will be back. I'm already planning my next adventure. A plus, I'm gonna do it again. Next on the Fisherman's Handbook, we meet up with a Garmin representative and show you how to take one of these units out of the package and set it up in your boat. Secrets are created to protect information, but keeping a secret is not as easy as it seems. For over a decade, anglers across the nation have used secret lures tackle to reel in their catch. From small ponds to large bodies of water and tour level events, the secret to their success has been tied to the end of their line all along. They've been using secret lures. First you've heard of them? Maybe your fishing buddies aren't really your buddies. Visit secretlures.com and place your order today. down after. That's a better one. <laughs> Good fish right there. At Sawyer, we use the best technology to make simple products that keep you going regardless of your journey. So whether you're boating, hiking, fishing, camping, or hunting, we keep you outdoors with a full lineup of products to both protect you and make the outdoors more enjoyable. Sawyer, we keep you outdoors. The Fisherman's Handbook is brought to you in part by Bradley Smoker, food smoking made easy. Sawyer Products, we keep you outdoors. And by Sunline America, the strength to guarantee your confidence. Pan Optics is the best tool that we've been given in the last 10 plus years. I can still remember back when we all saw our very first side imaging data and, and down imaging data and, and the game changer that that brought to the industry. And Panoptics takes that to a completely new level. Panoptics has no history on the screen at all. Everything is 100% live and what it does for an angler is completely unbelievable. All right, now we're to our pan optics, which is our 7610. And the first thing we're gonna do is save what this pan optics is capable of into our favorites. So we're gonna touch and hold live view forward and touch okay, and that put it into favorites. We're now gonna touch live view down, okay. And now if we go to our favorites, both of those two functions are in our favorites. So we can do either or. Okay, so here we're gonna do our live view forward. And on this particular screen, we're gonna start with our menu and we're gonna to go to sonar setup. And we're gonna go appearance. And again, if you'll remember, I said we're gonna turn the grid on and the history off. And see that removed that history from the screen. We're gonna take the color scheme off of blue, put it on yellow. See how it makes that a little bit clearer function. 
Okay, and then we're gonna go back, menu, edit, and we're gonna take the sidebar off. Back, back. Okay, and now we have um, the whole screen. Now if you look here, the gain is on auto medium. And um, for most anglers, you can actually take and put this into auto low and it'll clean that screen up really nicely for you and, and it can function on auto. Then the second thing is it defaults to an auto on your distance forward that it's looking, which is right here. And I actually wanna take that so you can adjust it right here on the screen on the fly. And I'm gonna take that down and I'll let it go at that today. I've got it on 70 feet. So we're looking 70 feet in front of the boat. Okay, so we're looking at the unit here. We've got everything set up, but I'm gonna orient you to what you're seeing. We're looking, this is the trolling motor here. This is the transducer right here. We're transmitting out like this in a 20 degree beam width. That's the width of the signal that I'm transmitting from the trolling motor. I'm looking 70 foot. This is the depth range of the water, and this will adjust as soon as the transducer locks on bottom. This is our Panoptics transducer. This is a PS22, significantly lighter weight than the original PS31. PS31 weighed about eight and a half pounds. This one here is probably a pound or so. Here's the shaft of the trolling motor. Transducer hardware mounts to the shaft. Here's the motor. And this, of course, is the direction that the boat's gonna be moving. This is the direction, and this lens right here is where the transducer is looking. This is where that 20 degree beam width comes out at right here. So as I rotate the trolling motor, that 20 degrees rotates with the trolling motor. Okay, this one is currently parallel to the shaft, meaning it's in line with the shaft. So my lens here is on the same plane as the shaft of the trolling motor. That's not where I want to run it. So I'm going to loosen the knob here. This is the adjusting knob, and you can see the transducer will now move. The transducer has a ratchet back and each click is 15 degrees. And I want that transducer to be 15 degrees down when it's looking forward. So when I'm looking at live view forward, I want this PS22 on one click down, which is 15 degrees, and it'll still look all the way to the surface. And that's it, I mean, that's pretty much what you wanna do there. Really, really good technology. It's great for crappie guys, catfish guys, bass guys, anything you are, this technology can make you better. That'll do it for the Cabela's Fisherman's Handbook. We'll see you next time. This is by far and away the smallest bait I've ever tied on in my life. I never thought I'd say Wade Middleton and Ice Fisherman in the same sentence. This tube is the greatest thing in the world. When you're catching fish on it, it builds your confidence. To me, that's the most important part of bass fishing, is you have to have confidence in this bait when we're throwing it. I've had guys say, you fish like you believe there's a fish there. Well, I do. I'm feeling everything that I can feel with that bait. If you need to get bites, it'll just absolutely get bit. Here at Big Bite Baits, we've got a big line of different plastics, and you know they're all a tool, so you want to have them with you all the time. I made several checks in crowded areas, flipping that right there just a six inch Big Bite Crete tail worm. Here at Big Bite, we came out with four brand new colors this year. All four of these colors are gonna be great fish catching baits. Definitely my number one go-to bait that Big Bite has out right now is the Big Bite Battle Bug. Big Bite is leading the way when it comes to innovation and colors.
Many said that we were just obsessed when we started, that there had to be an easier way to smoke food. As time passed, the Bradley family created a lineup of Bradley electric smokers that has made it easier for the novice or even expert chef to get perfect results every time they use it. Grab yourself a Bradley smoker and take your cooking to an all new level. We demand a lot from the products that we use on our adventures around the world. When it comes to keeping things seriously cold, we rely on Angle Coolers, who have for over 50 years kept things cold. Angle Coolers, the original high-performance cooler. Tired of forgetting to set a recording or missing the latest episode of your favorite outdoors show? Check out Outdoor Action today. Never miss a second of shows like Americana Outdoors, Cabela's Fisherman's Handbook, and Whitetail Diaries. All of this at the press of a button without a subscription fee required. Start watching your favorite shows when you want to watch them by going to OutdoorAction.com or through the Outdoor Action channel on any Roku device. Mm -hmm.